let us install module 3.7 on the ubuntu 18.04 server version and by default the ubuntu 18.04 server version has the php 7.2 so please be careful to have the compatibility to keep those problems out of our scope i have chosen this model 3.7 a latest version which can be installed on the ubuntu 18.04 a step by step installation guide is available on the model website you can also browse and look for the steps how do we install a model software on to your ubuntu server operating system so the first step is installing the ubuntu which we have completed and now we are proceeding towards installing the web server apache the database server mysql and the scripting language that is our php to do this let us first start our guest operating system which we have installed on the virtual box that is your ubuntu 18 i am starting it on the virtual box now i am just resizing the window of the virtual box you can see it clearly now well so once this operating system boots up as you can see there is a desktop environment which is lightweight which we have installed earlier i am giving the user credentials to log into the system yes now we are able to log into this and now you can see here the terminal app is available under system tools so select the terminal app and you can see that app has opened now of course you need to give several commands to set up your web server the database server and the configuration of the module requires several commands to be executed under the dollar prompt so there are multiple ways to issue the commands at the dollar prompt if you are an expert you know very well how to set up the apache the web server the database server and how do you configure the php so that the lamp stack is getting used there but if you are a beginner i suggest you to look for the commands which are given on the step by step installation process and that will be easy for you to understand it so what i suggest you is you can copy the commands as i do from this particular tutorial copy the commands and as well you can paste it here yes now there is an issue in the beginning of the operating system installation we have set our clipboard and as well as the copy paste options to be bidirectional but unfortunately this facility is not been working here so in order to make sure that this copy paste on the terminal of applications works properly we will try to issue some of the commands of course this is nowhere related to our model installation nevertheless it will help you to understand how you can enable the copy paste options between the virtual machine and the other host machines so sudo at get update is the first command we issue here yes one once this update packages have been 
in proper order you can issue the command sudo apt get install virtual box hyphen guest hyphen x11 the graphics package yes this is asking for me to agree to install those packages once it is done you can issue as well another command virtual box client which whole box client to have the clipboard options yes hopefully the system works now so i am just exiting from this command prompt and i go to open another terminal let us see if this works or not copy the commands from the documentation and paste it see now the copy paste option is also enabled properly for us but i suggest for a beginner to type the commands properly so that the beginner will learn what the commands are exactly trying to do if you are at a, a medium level developer i suggest you can as well copy the commands and paste it and run the necessary application